12 signs a dog is dying. Lethargy. We are so used to seeing our dogs in perpetual motion most of their lives that the day they start acting lethargic, we tend to worry, and rightfully so. Lethargy, of course, is not necessarily a sign of impending death in dogs, but it can be one of the initial signs of a serious illness, and in the dying process, it may tend to gradually worsen over time. A dog may therefore start to sleep more, and dog owners may notice how some usual behaviors and activities may start to lessen or disappear from the dog's repertoire of behaviors. A dog may no longer greet the owners at the door, or may no longer be interested in following their owners around the home or going on walks or playing. They may get weaker and may start walking at a slower pace. A dog may also no longer groom himself as before. As the lethargy progresses, they may be reluctant to get up to eat and drink and go outside to potty. They may lie down in the same area and position for extended periods of time. Decreased appetite. Your dog may start eating less and may have a hard time finishing his or her daily portion. This reduced appetite may be a consequence of certain cancer treatments or terminal illness. Dogs with cancer may be nauseated from chemotherapy or they may not have a large appetite due to certain tumors pushing on their digestive tract, making them require smaller meals. Dogs with mast cell tumors may also have reduced appetite due to the fact that these tumors release histamines which cause increased stomach acid production and nausea. Nauseous dogs may drool visibly and smack their lips. A reduced appetite in dying dogs is natural. The body simply no longer needs the energy from food as it once did. Dogs may have a lack of appetite out of the blue or may go through cycles of normal and abnormal appetite. Many dogs will eagerly eat cookies, treats, or people food, but may turn their nose at kibble or dog food. Some dogs may eat only warmed up meals. Other dogs may develop some new quirks, such as eating only if they are hand fed or only if the food is placed on the floor. Weight loss. As dogs eat less, weight loss is common. This can be quite upsetting for dog owners to witness. It is not unusual for older dogs to become thin either due to sickness or because of old age, but in many cases this weight loss is due to some degenerative disorders such as chronic renal or liver insufficiencies or some types of malignancies. Cachexia takes place in dogs with cancer and is due to loss of muscle and fat stores considering that cancer cells use up a lot of the dog's calories. This is not surprising considering how fast cancer cells tend to divide to make new cells and how they use up energy, explains veterinarian Dr. Damien Dressler. Social Detachment As dogs approach death, they may seek out solitude. They may detach a little bit more each day from their routines and seek resting areas away from all the hustle and bustle of busy homes. Before my uncle's dog passed, he reported that in the previous days, his pretty collie dog was not showing up as much as before. He preferred sleeping in the barn rather than being present in the mornings to greet him and have breakfast as he always did in the past 10 years. Many owners, however, report that their dogs still remain very present and affectionate most of the time. Some report them even being clingy, although at times they may still seek distance. As death gets closer, distancing and physical and emotional detachment may become more common in dogs. Some dog owners even report noticing this detachment in their dog's eyes. It's almost as if Ranger wasn't fully there when I looked into his eyes, my client reported when I asked her about her dog's final days. Reduced mobility as a dog nears death, he or she will become less mobile. The dog may start getting weak and no longer have enough strength to get up. 
their legs may start giving out, or they may have trouble climbing stairs and navigating slippery floors. As things progress, the dog may no longer be able to get up and walk around, and some may struggle even to lift their head. Incontinence. This refers to both bladder and bowel incontinence. Incontinence may occur due to lack of sphincter control. The dog may soil easily because he or she is weak and can no longer get up and move around as he used to. As the dog stops eating and drinking, accidents will occur less frequently considering that the gastrointestinal functions are starting to shut down. Restlessness. Dog owners may notice their dog becoming restless. It's important to understand whether or not this is part of the dying process or whether there is indication of discomfort either due to pain or something else that the dog needs addressed. Some dogs may pant, get up, and change resting spots frequently. Some may lick their paws or vocalize. A dog that is unable to walk and lies down most of the time may be trying to communicate a need to drink, relieve himself, or needs to be repositioned. Pain. It is not unusual for a dying dog to experience pain, so dog owners may have pain relievers on hand as prescribed by the vet. Dogs that are unable to swallow may require drugs given by injection. These can be provided by veterinarians specializing in hospice care. Decreased thirst. Water and food provide energy and hydration and are meant to sustain life, not death. It is normal for dying dogs to want only soft foods and liquids such as bone broth or water. As the dog advances towards death, the ability to swallow gradually reduces. Dogs may also be seen struggling to chew hard foods like kibble and they may cough or choke on solid foods. As the dog's digestive system starts to get weaker, eating solid food becomes uncomfortable. Dogs may no longer walk to the water bowl as usual. Labored breathing. You have been familiar with your dog's breathing for many years, and now you notice that your dog's breathing pattern is changing. As dogs near death, it is common for their breathing patterns to change or for them to have a difficult time breathing. This change may take place just hours or days prior to death, and it is a sign that the dog's body is beginning to slowly shut down. You may therefore notice slower, irregular breaths with pausing in between. As death nears, the dog may open and close his or her mouth. While changes in breathing patterns are common when death is near, consider as well that labored breathing may also take place when a dog is running a fever, is in pain, or has fluid in his chest. Changes in gum color. Looking at the dog's gums is an optimum reference when it comes to determining a dog's health status. In a healthy dog, you want to see nice bubblegum pink gums. These pink gums are proof of oxygen-rich blood circulating throughout the dog's body. The gums are also typically moist. If the blood vessels aren't oxygenating well, changes in color may be observed. In a dying dog or in a dog in a critical condition, the gums and tongue tend to gradually turn pale or blue and then eventually white. The mouth also becomes dry. In dogs who cannot swallow, fluid may leak from the mouth. Cool body. As things progress and death inevitably approaches, the body cools down because of reduced circulation. Owners often notice cold paws and cooler breaths. This is normal considering that the body temperature lowers and the blood pressure drops before death. What is death? Death is usually confirmed by using a stethoscope and listening for a lack of a heartbeat. But what exactly is death? Death is the collapse of the dog's cardiovascular system which translates into the failure of oxygen delivering to the tissues, cells, and vital organs of the body. It is the end of the journey. Death generally unfolds following several milestones, but not all dogs will stop at each milestone. Some dogs may skip some or go through them very quickly, 
while others may take months to reach the end of their journey. It is important, therefore, to recognize that none, some, or all of the changes described in this video may be observed. Death is overall an individual process. You may therefore stumble on some dogs who remain active, eating and up on their feet up to their final day, while others may be sluggish and sleep for hours on end in their final weeks. There are no rules set in stone. Death is quite a journey. It is part of life and sadly it's one that all of us dog owners will eventually have to face at one time or another.